Hello, and welcome back to F122 Driver Career Mode. My name is Chris, welcome along. And today, we are headed, in Season 2, to Hungary. Not a track we've raced in this game before. And in F1 2021, wasn't one I was particularly good at. So, it's going to be interesting. Looking at the championship standings, Max Verstappen out in the lead. We are sat in third behind Sergio Perez. It's a pretty close championship at the moment. I think we are very, very much still in this fight. We just need to work on the durability of the car and, well, you know, actually finish some races, which we have been doing. We did very well last time out in Austria, especially given the circumstances. Taken out by Sergio Perez, of course, um, on turn four, I think it was. Not ideal. We got big damage from that, but we did come back and we did score ourselves a decent finish. So, minor tyre wear upgrade going on, and here's where we're at in the uh, in the R&D standings. Third best car technically on the track, but we are definitely outperforming Ferrari. I don't know what they're doing. Very akin to real life, really. They've got potentially the second best car. Um, they're not doing very much with it, so. They're not really a threat at this stage in the season, but we should keep an eye on them because, of course, if they do get their act together, they've got the car to do it. So, with all that said, let's head to the track for qualifying, shall we? And onto the track we go, coming round to complete what will be our first flyer around Hungary. I did a lot of practice on this one because uh, I was just so slow. <laughs> uh, I still have a lot of practice to do, uh, I think, in general in this game. I think my pace isn't quite up to scratch, but uh, it is what it is. Third place so far, down to 11th towards the end of the session, so we're going to go again and start a new lap, screaming down to turn one. Can we improve? Fingers crossed as we come out. A bit late on the DRS there. I find that DRS activation a bit tricky because I'm trying, just trying to straighten the car up. And then the DRS line just sort of creeps up on you, but hey-ho, we are going to improve by quite a considerable amount. Actually, 7 tenths so far to come around the final corner across the line. What's it going to be? Enough to get into Q2. To be fair, I think we could have not gone out again and we would have got through, but that confidence isn't quite there yet. Tenth off Lewis, Lewis Hamilton topping the session. <clears throat> Max Verstappen all the way down in ninth. And losing from this session, Sonoda, Stroll, Alonso, Vettel, and Latifi. Usual suspects, really. Nothing really to report there. No, no, uh, no outliers. But here we are then in Q2, starting to get a bit more of a feel. We go across the line for P4. Only eight tenths behind the leader, though. That said, that was of course on a used set of tyres. We want to try and save a set for Q3, so we've got two clean runs hopefully and here's the second lap four tenths improvement so far currently p12 we're going to have to improve decently to get ourselves out of q2 as we come around that tricky final corner again about seven tenths improvement across the line and just about up into p9 and we're out just about out by less than a tenth to George Russell who got P10 and uh, Max Verstappen back on the pace topping that session so as I said we're out of Q2 Magnussen Albon Schwartzman and Schumacher again usual suspects the outlier here is Charles Leclerc in the Alfa Romeo who seems to be able to put that thing into Q3 on occasion and on this one he does it again It's race day in Budapest as we get ready for another round of Formula One action. We're not expecting too many retirements at this circuit. There are plenty of current and former drivers with flawless finish rates here. In particular, Ralf Schumacher, who made it across the line in all 10 of his Hungarian Grand Prix starts. 14 corners then for our drivers to navigate at the 2.7 mile Hungaro ring today. It's six lefts and eight rights around a lap here with average speeds in the region of 120 miles per hour. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position with Pierre Gasly alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Norris, Sainz, Max Verstappen and Russell. 
Perez, Ocon, Leclerc, and Daniel Ricciardo. Marshall, Magnussen, Alex Albon, and Mick Schumacher. Sonoda, Stroll, Fernando Alonso, and Sebastian Vettel. Schwartzman, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty, and Nicholas Latifi. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. Okay, how was that pull away? We'll have a bit more grip than that at the start, but we need to warm the tyres properly now. Make sure you get some heat into the brakes as well. Alrighty then, here we go. Hungarian Grand Prix and we... We're being ballsy here. Soft tyres to start. I don't know how well this is going to go, um, but we need to move up. So, figure this is a difficult track to overtake at as we patiently wait for those five red lights to illuminate. And we're underway for the Hungarian Grand Prix in season two. And we're going backwards. Brilliant. Not the best start from us as we really, really still struggle with the starts, but we're going to go up the outside at turn one and we're just going to cruise around a little bit of contact with Daniel Ricciardo off the track we go not ideal Ricciardo goes through Schumacher stays ahead as well so we're down a place we're going to send it on Schumacher how we didn't get damage there remember we're on sim damage so we can very easily pick up damage as we uh, as we make contact with the other drivers but up ahead Lewis Hamilton leads the way from Pierre Gasly from Sergio Perez we need to be keeping an eye on that because if he scores a ton more points than us, that's uh, going to hurt our championship. But Max Verstappen as well. The two Red Bull cars, our main rivals right now. They're both ahead of us. Carlos Sainz and the Ferrari doing pretty well as well. I said we didn't really need to worry about them. Maybe we don't, but up in P5, he'll be scoring some decent points. We, we're not even in the points yet. We have made it up to P11, though, past Magnussen as we went into the, uh, the chicane there. Tight corner, but if you time it right, you can get through. So... Yeah, the soft tyres haven't really paid off yet as we look round the uh, final couple of corners. Bit of a train going on, really, what you kind of expect at Hungary. If you look at the uh, the deltas to everybody, it's literally a train of cars. So we're parading around at the moment, but we are going to make some changes to that, I hope. As we move to lap three, we have got past Ricardo. We've got a lot of spare energy. Okay to use your overtake. We've also managed to get past um, Ocon. And we are now sending it down the inside on Charles Leclerc. He tries to come back at us, almost makes contact into turn one. And we've held it. And that we are now up into P8. I will take that because we started the race going backwards. Ten lap old softs now. These tyres are going to want a change soon, I would imagine. When are we coming in? Right now is the answer. So we're going to have to do 25 laps on the hard tyre around this track. Going to be a tricky ask, I think. They'll do it. But will they be quick towards the end of the Grand Prix? It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. And we may also, with this strategy, put ourselves back out. You see what you can see in the bottom left on the minimap. The traffic coming around. Apparently, we've got wing damage. I didn't know about that. And so a new wing goes on. A 7.4 second pit stop time. Less than ideal. That's going to hurt the strategy. We may have lost those places that we just made up if we don't get... The hammer down so back out into p19 schumacher having an incident i think on lap one and pitted really early but we've caught back up to the traffic but it's all back marker traffic of course uh unfortunately not blue flags we are fighting for position latifi just ahead in the williams are we going to get ahead of him here i think we're going to go for it down the inside look at that almost into the back of schwartzman as he turns into the corner as he is entitled to do he was plenty far enough ahead and uh, we do get past Latifi, but Latifi might be looking to come back on the inside there. We leave just enough space, and now we can head after Schwartzman in that Alfa Romeo. Down the inside at the chicane. Thank you very much. He just about lets us go through. He uh, he wasn't too sure what to do there, was he? That was a bit of a... We, we made, put, the, uh, put the pressure on, and... Uh, he did concede in the end. He didn't have to. I think he was plenty far ahead there to, to hold that position. But uh, just lack of experience, I guess. And he just moved out of the way. Vettel and Leclerc up ahead. 
That will go down the inside into turn one. And we have to make avoiding action. We should have backed out of that a lot earlier than we did. But I was trying to take advantage of this situation. They're slowing each other down. Can we go around the outside into turn two? No, we can't. We will, however, keep that pressure on. We might be able to get up the side of the Leclerc here into turn four. I probably don't recommend it, to be honest. Bit of a dodgy corner to overtake that one, but... Keeping with the back of them, of course, this is not good for our tyre strategy. Down the inside of the chicane, nice and early this time. Definitely get that move done in time. Both the Alfa Romeo's dispatched that way. And now we've got Vettel up ahead in that Alfa Tauri, which has not been super quick, so... We should be able to get past him without too much sweat. Around this sort of time, we would expect that the uh, the rest of the drivers will start making their pit stops. Strolls into the pit lane in the Aston Martin. Right, we need to get past here. Use overtake. Use overtake, we will. And we're going to sail past Sebastian Vettel like he doesn't even exist. Back onto the racing line and into turn one. We're up into P11 again. So bearing in mind, everybody up front will still need to make a pit stop. It's not bad. We, we could be finding ourselves with a good chunk of points here. And who's this? Lewis Hamilton, the leader, the race leader in his Mercedes, is parking up at the side of the track. So Lewis Hamilton out of this race. That's unfortunate. Uh, he could have easily won that. And now, if you look at the minimap, a McLaren 1-2 and a Red Bull 3-4. So McLaren should be able to steal away some points from Red Bull for us today. That's good. Uh, they're not really in the fight just yet, but they have been incredibly quick. And as we move on to lap 29, you can see just by looking at the tyres, they've seen better days, but they're decently quick still. We can, we can catch up. We're, not, we're never going to catch up to P6. Ten seconds up the road is George Russell and that group of cars. But uh, we should be able to get Ocon if we keep on him. Bit of a wobble there. And uh, you can see we're pushing. We've got six laps to get this move done. So we probably don't need to push quite this hard yet. But as I said, tyres have seen better days. I want to get this move done and hopefully then just keep him behind as we come round to start lap 30. DRS on, ERS on as well. And we're going to have a look. Inside, outside, up the inside, way before the braking zone. Giving plenty of space. He is our teammate after all. DRS back on and we're through down into turn two looks like we've gone deep yeah we have his on board with Ocon almost a bit of contact there as he thinks oh I'll get back through there where's team orders when you need them we need these points for the championship but uh, no we are fighting with our teammate seems to be quite common today we've got the uh, the two McLarens up front followed by the two Red Bulls and then us so uh, yeah a few pairings on the on the grid today anyway we did pull out a gap, and as we come round to start the final lap, that gap is comfortable, I would say. 1.4 seconds the gap at the moment, 11.3 to the front runners. So you can tell, I don't think it's the car, I think it's my experience around this track, we just haven't got enough pace. And uh, later on, of course, in the lap, Pierre Gasly coming through to win the Hungarian Grand Prix from Lando Norris. McLaren will be happy about that one. And we come round to get ourselves a seventh place. That's some points. We'll take that. And, uh, okay, yeah, work to do uh, around this track. We will revisit it, I would imagine, in Season 3, if not Season 4. So we'll get another opportunity. Driver of the day, I'll take that. And uh, that was a fun race. A beautiful performance from McLaren today. So, Natalie... What do you think helped them deliver this result? I think it was clear what the main contributing factor out of the track was. Speed. It sounds like an awfully reductive statement, but fast cars win races. And we saw that today with our winner. And look at that, they're making their way out onto the podium now. Great race from the McLaren team, and I'm very happy to see them there on that top step of the podium. A very good weekend for McLaren. A 1-2 in the race. They qualified decently well as well, uh, so, you know, they, they deserve that one. Pierre Gasly taking that win from Lando Norris. Interesting, uh, interesting dynamic there. And, uh, of course, Sergio Perez 
on the podium as well. So he scores a ton of points. That said, uh, given where we're at in the championship, if I had to pick, I'd rather it was him. I think he's going to be an easier opponent to fight as we move on into the, in the championship. But uh, we get we get some points. Six points. Damage limitation, especially given that we got knocked out in Q2, starting in P11. So it could have been worse. Lewis Hamilton, though, was on for a win today. And uh, his car said no. I'm fortunate for Mercedes, but they, uh, they, yeah, they get a P6, which is about where they've been this season. But, uh, yeah, they would have they would have wanted that win. Anyway, here's what the championship now looks like. Max Verstappen is still in the lead, but only marginally. Two points to his teammate, Sergio Perez, and we are in P3. Still. Constructors is pretty much... Nothing's really changing there, is it? Red Bull out in front because both of their drivers are just so much more consistent. And uh, we, Ocon's had his day, don't get me wrong. He uh, does seem to be upping his game. And he, he won, of course, in Silverstone. Uh, but, yeah. He um, he hasn't been there the whole season. And uh, that's what we need to win a Constructors. So, at the moment, we're focusing solely on the Drivers' Championship with, with myself. Uh, maybe as we move into Season 3... We, we could potentially look at, at a Constructors. Anyway, I'm rambling. If you like this video, leave us a like, drop us a little comment below, subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you for the next one. Bye.